so once you're done masking, um, you should basically have your car just like doing a 360 spin. Um, I I also cut off the ending because I I really didn't want a whole 360 spin. Um, so yeah, I also didn't want to spend a lot of time. So basically, our next step. Well, you, we can turn on the stationary layer for now. Permanently, I mean. Not for now. So, just find the area, like, right when he, thro when your actor throws the car. And then take your, like, car layer and then just put it, like, right here. And then line it up with the other layer. And you can also feather this car layer out by maybe four, four pixels. So then on the car layer, hit S for scale, hit the keyframe, and then like go maybe to like to the end of the car layer, and then bring the scale down to like the right size. So maybe like that. Mine, I put mine to 20%. And then you can go back to the beginning and then take the position properties and keyframe that, and then like go to the, go like over here and then drag it over there, and then go to the end, and make it land. So if we play this, we can play this. It's actually taking too long. Oh no, I don't know how to play it with it. Oh, maybe you press Y. Oh yeah, so now if we just watch it, It'll look like this. I'm just gonna make sure that it looks good, like it looks on quick enough and realistic. It actually looks like a big car at the beginning. Well, yeah. Okay, that's slow. That's that's way too slow for me. So if we preview this, look how slow it goes. So yeah, we can basically just like drag these in, drag in the keyframes so that it makes it go go faster, and just play it. Oh, sorry, I didn't drag this thing in, but okay, you can just watch it. going to leave these keyframes in. Oh. And then, okay, so yeah, like this doesn't look that good, but you can also create a map. No, not that. You can, um, you can see it's kind of over him, so you can drag it up there and like drag these around so that it's still kind of overlapping him but you're basically just going to do like that um oh yeah you could also speed up the car layer time time stretch and like stretch it to like maybe 70 drag this in, sorry. So then you can just um, change that stretch factor to make it go like faster. just like drag the car layer to make it longer then find the spot like right when it lands and then end that layer and then do duplicate it and call it um oh no sorry don't duplicate it it 
just going to end there. And I also have a totaled car image I found on Google that we can put there. It's like the same, it pretty much looks like the same car as the one that I drew. And we can just cut it so that we can put it on the roof. If you go onto Google, um, you can go onto Google and then, um, like, go to images and then type in, like, car and then hit enter. And then, for some reason, it's not doing it. Wait, it's just there. Okay, yeah, we're good about that. Just like look up total car maybe. And like just find one with the same, like it looks the same as your car. And I'm just going to t take the scale and make it like the same size as my other car. And I'm going to drag it so that once, um, once the, um, car layer like ends then this car layer begins now we can add the explosion I got mine at actionmovieessentials.com um, oh here it is okay so you can see it like looks like that and at the beginning it says detonation oh no I got mine at DetonationFilms.com. You can um, drag this over to the right area, right when you want the explosion to start. Just find the area when um, the car lands, and like this is where the roof is going to be. And you can scale it out. So then you know how the explosion is way back there in the background. You can see it goes over the actor's head, so we can just make a mask around the explosion layer and make it kind of go around the actor's head. And then hit M for the mask to happen, and you can keyframe that and go down a few frames and like line it up. So now um, it like stays out of the actor's like face. drag this out so you can basically just do that and um that's pretty much the effect you can comment rate and maybe subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you liked it and I'll see you later